Sizzle! 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 Sizzle, you crazy, you flying fish! All right, guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Darcizzle Offshore. What's up, Darcizzle Nation? Uh, this is the fishing couple. We go fishing. Fish Dream Inspires our motto. And we're out here today, and Darcy is trying to catch a little bit of a not that well known fish called a rainbow runner. They're really delicious and super easy to catch in, in the summer. So you're just using a chunk of bonita, throwing it at the back of the boat with some chim. Oh, just lost him again. And there's all, there's all kinds of runners back there and all kinds of stuff, so she's sight fishing for them. So she got about two, two and a half in the boat. And uh, hopefully you catch one or two more, and then we're gonna have a catch and cook. These are almost sushi grade. Yeah, they are sushi grade. Show us the size of the bait and what you got they there. They are sushi grade. Sorry, I'm gonna like whip through this because I really want to catch these guys while they're around. And Brian's gonna get my last Rainbow Runner into the Grizzly cooler. But I am using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, really light because they can actually see it. And they're here behind our chum. We also have sharks in the area. So I have this rod locked down, but starting with the hook, I'm using a number three, uh, what are these J-hooks called? It's like a live bait hook. Okay. Starting with the hook, I'm using a three-aught live bait hook, also known as a J-hook. That way I can really set the hook on these guys and just whip them into the boat like I did that last one, but he flew out. <laughs> and then I have it just tied with a uni knot and a chunk of bonita there, fresh chunk of bonita, and just throwing it back in my chum slick to where the rainbow runners are hanging out and I can see their yellow tails. Uh, my leader is about four foot long. I have 30 pound braid as my main line on this Stella. And then uh, my Stella is paired with my Shimano Travala rod and this is my snook rod. It's so much fun whipping them in though. Let's see if I see them. My chum is just starting to go out. It's a frozen block, so they kind of dissipated back here. I don't know what this is. Ah, Remora. There's a lot of bycatch. Remoras, big runners, sometimes a bonita. So you really have to sight fish for them. Beautiful rainbow runner. He is very green. He did not fight very long at all. Chill out, buddy. Okay, he just threw the hook. Perfect. Beautiful rainbow runner. We're gonna cook these up. So excited. They're delicious. They get much bigger than this guy's, by the way. They get like upwards of 10, 15 pounds. A couple years ago, we caught a monster on a wreck. But I'm gonna post this on the Fish Angler app. So check it out down in the description below. It's a great app to, for anglers to connect and also share their catches. So I'm gonna post everything about how you can do this too, exactly on the Fish Angler app. Let's get him in the grizzly cooler. We are back at the house, guys, and it's time for the cleaning portion of this video. So in my 40 quart grizzly cooler, I have got my rainbow runner beautiful rainbow runner that we caught. It was so much fun catching these guys with chum out and zillions of fish around the boat. I'm sorry if you can hear that airplane here, but we're just gonna get right into this and start filleting up this fish. If you didn't know, this is actually a sushi fish and it's like a really, it's a, it's, it's a secret pretty much, unless you are a fisherman and somebody else has told you about it, but these guys are delicious as sushi. So cutting right behind the pectoral fin and we're just working the knife up towards the head here. And I'm using my Bubba knives, of course. And we're just following the backbone all the way down. And sharp, sharp knife is key here. And I've been getting a lot of comments lately about how to keep a sharp edge. And of course, you'll use your sharpening steel, but you'll also, I have an electric sharpener, life sharpener that I like to use. And it keeps my knives very sharp. So now I'm just following the rib cage bones back down and I'm going over the spine here breaking the pin bones up here by the head. And then we're just slabbing it right off. Wow, look at that meat. So yummy. 
And I know a lot of you would have said just flip it over and keep, keep the tail intact so that way you can actually fillet it off. I don't like to do that. This is the way I like to do it. So, and it works for me. So now that we've got that off, we're gonna skin it. And I'm actually using a bigger knife here, a bigger blade, so I can skin it properly. But get it up underneath there, and then just work it all the way down, 45 degree angle. And this does take some practice, so if you mess up a couple times, it's no big deal. The practice makes perfect. There we go, beautiful piece of meat off the skin. And now the last part is the bloodline. And rainbow runners do have a little bit of a bigger bloodline than I guess snappers. Um, so what we're gonna do here is just kinda outline the bloodline and like angle like in towards it and then down because the bloodline you don't want to eat with your sushi, that's for sure. Just like that. And then the pin bones are of course up by the head here. I'm just removing those two as part of the bloodline. A little bit of red meat here. And that's mostly done. I'm just gonna get the rest of this. Okay. So that is our piece of sushi right there. And then same with this side. Just lay off the rest of this red meat. There we go. We got two beautiful loins of rainbow runner. And we're excited to go inside and eat this. So I'm gonna finish it up, do the same exact thing that I just showed you to the other side of the fish. I'm gonna meet you guys back in the house for cooking with pudding segment. What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. I got another one of my great hats that you guys keep sending me. I really appreciate it, thank you so much. Darcy's behind the camera for a change of pace. And today we're gonna to be doing, like Darcy mentioned outside, is we're gonna be doing some sushi or sashimi, okay? Kind of like, a, we're just gonna really do an appetizer. Now look down here, sizzle. You can see we actually went to the store and we got some rice. It's so much easier to make sushi rice when you just go to the store and get it. And I got some of these little condiments with it. So we're pretty much all set. And I am just cutting the sushi right now with the, the uh, what are these called? Rainbow runners. Now I'm, I like to cut it. Now I used to work in a deli for many years and then I became a lawyer. But uh, in the deli business, when you cut meats, you want to cut it as thin as possible. All the flavor comes from the from all those uh, edges and extra surface area when you cut it thin. So I'm cutting this pretty thin. And just, I may, as you can see, I'm just gonna lay it right on my rice. I'm using a whiffy. It's real sharp, Darcy sharpened it with our electric knife. And I'm just putting it on here. That piece is a little big. Darcy's not quite as much into sushi as I am. I can take a huge piece, but look at that, looking good. I got some other slabs here. And you guys might be yelling at the wrong way to do it or whatever, but it's gonna be delicious, don't worry. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be good. Just come right apart, nice and tender. Boom, boom. There we go. All right. Woo! That is good. Boop. I'll put a little extra on this one. All right, super simple. We got a little presentation here. Let's let's try it out, our sizzle. And here we go. You ready to try some rainbow runner sushi, our sizzle? I'm ready. All right. I'm totally into sushi. I don't know you said that before. <laughs> I'm not into sushi, but I just don't usually end up cutting it because I let Brian handle that part. And I also use chopsticks, and she does not use chopsticks. I do not. I don't know how to use them properly. I look silly, and I think. Yeah, a fork is way easier. Well, you guys know us New Yorkers are so fancy. We do these things. <laughs> I'm a South Floridian, I guess. I don't know what the term is, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Redneck? whatever. Know, maybe. No? But, uh, anyway, we're going to try this sushi. Now, this is the Rainbow Runners. Not a lot of people use it or know, even know it's good as sushi. It's so good. So I we're going to prove to you saw, how like, delicious it is. Yeah, I don't know if you actually saw the meat very close up in the camera when I was filming, but it is sushi quality. It's, it's amazing. Really good. I also like mine a little hotter, so I make a little... My fingers. Is that bad? That's good. Perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. When you're as pretty as you, you can do whatever you want. Super good. Literally. 
excuse me, fellas, literally melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's so good. So good. No, it's, if you love sushi, I highly recommend Rainbow Runner. It is comparable to Wahoo almost. I mean, any sushi is good sushi. What can you say? So, can't complain about that, but it is amazing out of this world and a great little appetizer. And then, of course, you can cook Rainbow Runner through and through if you want as well. But it's just an absolutely amazing fish. It's so good. It's really good. It's just like, I mean, I'm not sure if it's like, it's different than Wahoo. You know, it's not white, quite as white, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's still, it's just, I'm just, I didn't remember it being as good. It's just as good as any other sushi tuna yeah or anything else it's exactly. really good it's, exactly. and it's better than blackfin sushi it is it's better than blackfin sushi better than blackfin tuna for sure for yeah. sure it beats it by a long shot just like yellowfin tuna beats blackfin tuna but it is out of this world amazing so i hope you guys go out and try this yourself if you can amazing what did you do that for got a little oh, wasabi got a little wasabi my nose i was like what is it not good that's funny he loves that hot stuff. I don't. Get it as hot as we can get it. Yup. But uh, thanks, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. We really, I mean, I know we say this all the time, but you really just make our lives able to, just so, our lives are so wonderful because of you guys. We live our dreams and we fish. We're following our dreams and hopefully inspiring some of you guys also to do that. Yeah, look at them, not me. But yeah. I know. <laughs> I just get so, I just get, I lose words. <laughs> Yes, we are definitely very blessed and uh, we live a very blessed life and I know a lot of you guys probably aren't able to do this all the time so it's just amazing that we get to do this full time and get to bring you guys along for the ride and share everything with you all so it's very very special so thank you for watching as always we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up we're gonna be giving you guys a lot more content a lot more cat cleaning cooks that let us know down in the comments below if you like this style video and until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. Mama more. It's all gone. There's only the two left now. It's yummy. Right? Mm hmm Super good. Like, it's literally better than I thought it was. No, Rainbow Runner is freaking amazing. It's, it's, it's better than Blackfin and it's very close to Wahoo.